Welcome to today's quick nugget where we will define the purpose of a router and what their job is in our networks. My name is Jacob Hess, your instructor and mentor, and let's go ahead and get started and describe what a router does. So to start out, I like to describe the images and icons that you see here on the screen, starting with the one all the way there at the top right. That is the logical representation of a router. Now we use this all over the place in topology maps and network diagrams, very widely used icon. That little cylindrical or circular shape there with the four arrows, that describes a router all over the place. If you know that, if you ever see that, it's a router, guys. Now, it's logical. So what does a physical router actually look like? Well, this image you see here toward the middle of the screen is what a physical router looks like. In fact, this is a Cisco 2900 series router that we would use in enterprise grade and business grade networks. Now, having said that, many routers don't look like that at all. So you can't just see this router here and say, oh, I know what a physical router looks like or I know what router hardware looks like because all routers might look a little bit different. So not all routers look alike. That's the point. All right, so let's go ahead and get into describing what a router is. What is the purpose of a router? The purpose of a router is to route traffic from one network into another network. So if I'm sitting here on my own LAN and I wanna send traffic out to the internet, if I wanna actually communicate with something on the internet, I need to send that through a router, some type of routing service or routing device. So that's the purpose of a router, guys, to take traffic from one network and allow it to route to another network. All right, and the most common type of router is an IP router. There are other protocols out there besides IP that we can actually route from one network to another, but IP networks are the most common type of layer three network out there. Internet protocol, that's what we're talking about here. The most widely used protocol, and an IP router is the most widely used type of router. Any router you find out there, including the router at your house, runs IP, so it's an IP router. And an IP router routes IP packets from one network to another network. So if I'm sitting here on my network and I need to communicate out to the internet using IP, I'll send IP packets out to, let's say, Google server, for example, and my home router will then know how to route my packets out onto the internet. That's its purpose, that's its job. So let's define this a little bit further with our diagram and show here that we have two LANs. So these are two physically separated LANs. We have two different switches here connecting LAN one and then another switch connecting LAN two. So the hosts on LAN one can communicate with the host on LAN one and the host on LAN two can currently communicate with the host on LAN two, but they cannot communicate to each other. They're physically separated and they're on different networks. So in order to get traffic from LAN one over to LAN two, we need some type of router service. So we would need to connect these switches into our router, each on different router interfaces, and as long as those router interfaces were configured with an IP address on those networks, then it would automatically be able to route traffic from one LAN to the other LAN and allow LAN one to communicate with LAN two and vice versa. So here we can see more of a physical representation on the diagram here of what I'm actually talking about. So that is the function or purpose of a router to route traffic from one network to another network. So you should really be able to understand that now. And because routers are able to route traffic from one network to another network, they are said to be the gateway device or the network gateway. So if I'm sitting on LAN one and I need to send traffic out to another network, I need to send that to my gateway device, which is going to be a router. And in fact, most of the time, we call this the default gateway for a network. So if you've heard that term before, the default gateway for a network is normally talking about a router or some type of device that can do routing. Could even be a firewall. Firewalls can do routing too most of the time. We're just talking about routers here now though. So the default gateway is an important term. You hear it all the time. And when you hear that term default gateway, it's talking about the router that connects to your LAN. Now, we said that our router connects us from one LAN to another LAN, but aren't there other types of networks out there besides local area networks or LANs? Well, yes, of course there are. Now we have LAN one and LAN two here, but what are some other types of networks or what is another type of network that I might really want to be able to get to? Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, if you're not thinking of already, but you probably are, it's the internet. So our routers will connect us to the internet as well. Now, connecting to the internet is going over a different type of connection. It's not a, a LAN connection or a local area network. 
It's a wide area network connection. So even at your house, your router connects to your internet service provider. That goes over a WAN connection to connect you to the internet. So we can also say that routers could connect LANs to WANs. In fact, they can connect one LAN to another LAN over a WAN. Wide area networks and local area networks. These are other common terms in networking, but this is what routers allow us to do. Send traffic from one LAN to another LAN and communicate from LANs to WANs and between all our different types of networks. So our routers are very versatile and they're a necessary tool or device in our network. The internet would not work without routers. In fact, the internet is a conglomeration of many different networks and routers connect all these networks together. So, super important thing. And as a network engineer, this is one of the main devices that you need to know how to configure, set up, connect, troubleshoot, and install. All right. So because our routers are this device that connects to our external services, we also use them to connect to other things besides just the internet. And if we look at the back side of a router here, we can see on the right side of it, we have a few different ethernet interfaces. Well, we have three to be exact on this model of router. We have three gigabit ethernet interfaces. But what I'm trying to get to here is on the left side or all across the back, we have these interchangeable slots or line card slots. So we can literally remove the plate on these and insert a different type of card in there to give us another type of network connection. For example, we might not be using ethernet to connect to our WAN service. We might be using ATM or we might be connecting to a T1 connection. Or maybe we have a circuit from a voice service that we need to connect out to the public switch telephone network to provide voice over IP services to our network. And in order to do that, we need the type of connection to interface with that. So we could pull out our, our slot here, or we can take a line card that's made for that and put it into a slot on the router. So our routers are super versatile and they allow us to connect to all of our different wide area network connections and connect to our different service providers to provide us that connectivity across the long haul. So routers, they're there too provide services to route traffic from one network to another network and interface with all of our different types of networks. All right, routers are a great tool and we need them. We could not live without them in this age of communications. Now how we've described things here fits an enterprise or a business grade network. We'll have our solo routers that are just hardcore routers and that's all they do. But if you are at your house, you might be thinking, well, do I have a router at my house? Uh, I have a device that connects to the internet and I have multiple computers that connect to it. Is that a switch? Is that a router? I think I have wireless too. Is it a wireless access point? Well, to answer your question, it's actually all of the above. So your, your home router or your Soho router, small office, home office router, is actually a combo device. It's a router, it's a switch, and it's a wireless access point, most of the time. Sometimes people might have just a solo router connecting to a solo switch and a solo wireless access point. If they do, they're probably networking guys or they're just geeky or nerdy. So uh, you can have that still at your house, of course, but uh, normally whenever you go out to Best Buy or something like that and you buy a router or a device for your house to connect to the internet, it's gonna be a combo device. But yes, it is also a router. And it also does firewalling services. And most of our routers out there do allow us to do some type of firewalling because they allow us to connect to the internet. And if we connect to the internet, the internet is the WWW, right? The wild, wild west. So we wanna protect that connection on our router that connects to the internet. So it does allow us to do security features as well. All right, so that's a router in a nutshell for you guys. And now you should have a good understanding of what the purpose of a router is. And also a router that you may have seen somewhere like at your house and how it actually is doing multiple functions, being a router and a switch and also a wireless access point. But just to remind you guys, in the enterprise world and in the business world, normally you're gonna have a standalone router that just does routing really, really well. All right, so that is our lesson, ladies and gentlemen, on what is the purpose of a router? If you found this lesson to be beneficial, please go ahead and like and smash that subscribe button. My name is Jacob Hess, your instructor and mentor. As always, have a great one, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.